Okay. Okay, so let's uh, read the print story real quickly, shall we? Uh, based uh, the Elizabeth Warren appointment prick, uh, uh, prick. Uh, appointment story. Warren vows and to tricks with the consumer agency. Hey, Washington Reuters. 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 Wall Street critical Elizabeth Warren said Friday she accepted the job of setting up a consumer financial protection agency for, for the a, a United States President uh, Barack Obama and declared that the time for financial tricks and traps tricks and traps was over. Obama was expected to announce his appointment of Warren, a Harvard University professor. Here we go again, another Harvard. I told you, it's the Harvard click, man, the frat. You want to tell me that, oh, she's going to set up the job? Oh, she's just like, she's just going to walk in there and set it up from the ground up. She's just going to start setting up things. She doesn't know what she's going to do, but no. No, they know exactly what they're going to do. It might be her idea. It might be somebody else's. It's all part of the Harvard clique. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which, uh, you know, 1984 style, Soviet style, Atlas Shrug style, and United States government style, the uh, name of the bureau or the act is like uh, the exact opposite of its true intentions. You know, the Ministry of Truth tells nothing but lies. So they say in Ozzy Osbourne's song, uh, what was it, Rock and Roll Rebel on the Bark at the Moon record uh, back in the early 80s. So shall we continue? Warren is reviled by many Wall Street, many on Wall Street for her calls to crack down on abusive lending practices by financial firms. And see if you noticed in the TV story, they said that uh, Warren is regarded as a damn near a, a deity-like status, a saint, regarded by, by the progressives. And that, that means the super liberals, elites at Harvard, don't you know, and all their buddies at all the other elite uh, Ivy League schools, because unless you're from uh, the upper or northeast corridor, from Washington to Boston, you're just nothing but an ignorant freaking redneck. Oh, she is regarded as a definitely one of them. And it's just uh, such a turnaround from uh, events a few months ago when uh, she was... Just some uh, dittering old lady who didn't really know what was going on with the uh, whole, uh, you know, tarp uh, and the towel and the bar funds and all the other stimulus money and the bank bailout situation. Where is it all going and where did it all come from and who's doing what and who's not doing their part? And she just was a level-headed, fair-minded, non-biased person that was just kind of just selected to do the job and she was kind of scared to do it and she was just trying to be nice as she could be right and now as it turns out she's into a, she's a zealous freaking social justice person uh along of a stripe of a barack hussein obama the 44th peace be upon him uh, Warren said in a blog post on the White House website that she had enthusiastically agreed, where she was kind of reluctant during the whole investigation stage a few weeks ago, I mean months ago, uh, around la uh, this time last summer at the very latest. Uh, the president and I are committed to the same vision. She has the same vision now as Barack Obama. She was like the ultimate moderate before. I guess her. I guess. I guess Barack Obama's vision is now the ultimate moderate uh, vision. He's the pragmatist. He's he's centrist. Uh, he's middle of the road, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, then she, uh, who is committed to the same vision as he, is another soulmate uh, and a frat member of his. I'm confident, says she, that I will have the tools I need to get the job done. This new law creates a chance to put a tough cop on the beat and provide real accountability and oversight of the consumer credit market. The time for hiding tricks and traps and in the fine print is over. In other words, we're going to break down the banks further until we choke them to death and the United States government will be the only bank. Just like we're going to do with the insurance companies until the United States government will be the only hospital. These people are as left as you want to get communists. Hundreds 
thousands, if not millions, of American soldiers have fought, killed, and died in order that this would never happen in America and we just let it right in the front door and park its fucking ass right uh, behind the desk in the Oval Office. Do you fucking understand me? And from there on, we're bypassing the Congress. Okay? We don't give a rat's ass what Congress says. Now, Congress authorized uh, the president to start this agency. Now he's appointing a czar into it, and she is a czar. Believe me, she's a special advisor uh, to the president and to the Treasury Secretary. She might be uh, the uh, second most powerful czar outside of the invisible czar, Cass Sunstein, who nobody ever talks about, who's like making all the laws these days. In case you don't know. Oh yes, here we go with, again. Uh, Warren will play the lead role. She will become assistant to the president. There you go. Zaw. And special advisor to Treasury Secretary Little Timmy Geithner. Uh, let's see. The White House hopes Warren's appointment will energize supporters from the president's liberal base. They were all middle of the road a few uh, uh, months ago during the election. Ahead of November 2 elections across the nation that are expected to produce victories and possible uh, congressional majorities for Republicans. Yeah, that, that's all a big setup. I'll, I'll get into that later. Warren uh, will play the lead role in setting up the bureau and ensuring it is as effective as possible, a White House official said. Read David Axelrod, your true real president. She will also advise the president on policies and programs that are designed to protect the financial interests of middle class families. We're going to protect your interests. If you overcharge and throw your plastic around too much and can't pay your bills, that's okay. We're going to make the credit card companies take the hit for you so you can keep your freaking stuff that you bought at Target that you couldn't afford and uh, make it look like some rich person that works for Chase Manhattan Bank bought you that big screen TV. But they see that this is all class war all the time. Obama's technique always ostracized the Republicans and then talked about he wants to uh, get rid of partisanship. He's more partisan than anybody you've ever seen in that office. You fool who voted for him. Uh, enlarging the fine print. Obama, a Democrat, nah! will use the announcement to draw attention to financial regulation reform legislation that Republicans largely opposed and voters largely ignored as they fret over a rough economy and a near double-digit unemployment. All created by the Harvard frat. Designed. This is all a design, okay? A year ago, employment numbers are growing and Obama comes up in front of the microphone and says everything's going according to plan. Okay, his plan, their plan, the Harvard frats clan uh, plan to, it is that you're going to lose your job. Okay, none of us are going to be working. We're all going to be shifted into government jobs, okay. We're all going to be shifted into these shovel-ready projects where we all get to dig ditches leading to digging our own graves. Do you get it? Never again will folks be confused or misled by the pages and pages of barely understandable fine print that you find in agreements for credit cards, mortgages, and student loans, Obama was to say, according to the excerpts of his remarks. Really? In advance. Okay, basically the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau will be a watchdog for the American consumer. We're just looking out for you! Remember Bill O'Reilly said that? The Harvard graduate... Yes, for the folks. You're just one of the folks. Obama has made improving the lives of the middle class a central theme of his efforts to support Democrat candidates and lawmakers ahead of the November elections. Drawing contrast from Republicans who could give a rat's ass about the middle class, right? Yeah, they don't care. They're only for the rich. <laughs> yeah. Vote for me. I could give a rat's ass about anybody except rich people. If you're rich, vote for me. I'm a Republican, right? That would really work well. Yes, Obama says that Republicans favor the rich when it comes to financial and tax policies. What do you mean? The, 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 the middle class and poor hardly are... They, they don't even pay any taxes. Enacting the broad financial reform law, including the establishment of the consumer agency, is part of the strategy he hopes will resonate with Americans. 
I hope this works out. If the Consumer Financial Protection B uh, Board or Bureau, whatever CFPB, can succeed at leveling the playing field, yeah, leveling the playing field, they're gonna level all the banks, and they're gonna have about as much money as you do, which is zip. We can go a long way toward repairing a gaping hole in the budget of millions of families. Warren said uh, in a blog. Oh, it wasn't Warren. It wasn't Obama that said that. It was Warren. See, it sounds all the same, like the same person. That's because Axelrod's really the one writing all this shit. But nobody has ever thought or argued that the Consumer Bureau can fix everything. Say, oh, oh, it's not going to fix everything now. Just like Chris Dodd said, his financial reform bill couldn't stop the next big catastrophe. That's just because they're cementing that it's going to happen. You know? It's going to be uh, the, the commercial property are all going to foreclose like the houses did. Watch. And after that, the banks are going to fall. And, and after the uh, health care plan gets going, the, the health insurance company is going to fall. And everything's going to wind up in the hands of Uncle Sam. Uncle a Scam Obama in the White House. He'll, he'll make sure he's like dictator for life. Watch. They're a bunch of communists, man. They don't give a shit about the Constitution. They don't give a shit about the Congress. They're going to render the Congress powerless. They don't care what party's in charge of Congress. In fact, they hope the Republicans win because the Republicans are going to try to fight them on every step of the way, and, 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 and the White House and the administration is just going to make sure that everything gets worse and worse and worse because their plans haven't really started kicking in yet. The health plan hasn't kicked in until you reelect Barack Obama. And, they're going, and the Republicans are going to try to repeal all this stuff uh, before it kicks in, or while it's kicking in, it'll be as it'll be as bad as Obama really wanted it to be. But uh, it won't look like he's to blame. See, blame the real Republicans who only care about the rich and they're not looking out for you. See, nobody, nobody has ever thought the, that the Consumer Bureau can fix everything. I bet you lots of little people out here in in TV land probably are counting on the because it's called the Consumer Financial Protection, right? We'll see how many consumers are protected by this. How many feel protected after they go through the through the whatever red tape is bound to be in store? Lost jobs, stagnant incomes, rising costs for college, dwindling retirement savings. There's a lot of work to be in. Rising costs for college. Now, why would that be? Seeing that the colleges are all funded by all these progressive Harvard-type frats, of which Harvard gets more money from you, the little guy, than anybody else. The Harvard, the yearly endowment for the Harvard from the United States government for Harvard is $28 billion a year, okay? That is enough money to put every kid in America in a community college in his local area for four years, okay? Why does it all go to Harvard? So they can come up with these communist takeover plans to kill America and us, all of us. They, could, they, they, they don't want us alive, dude. You better figure that out. They don't care about you. They hate you. America's enemies are powering all this. It's unclear how long Warren will stay in her job establishing the presidency. Why does ABC, uh, or why does Reuters use the word that it's unclear? Uh, who is not being clear about how long she's going to stay in her job? Treasury Department, which is mandated to set it up, must lay out a timetable soon for how long that will take. Oh, I read another newspaper article about this. I wonder where that is. She is actually the acting. She's, that's one reason why she doesn't have to be appointed, because she's just acting. She's like the substitute until they appoint one. And that will take the Senate confirmation process. But watch, she'll just stay in the acting part. If they bring her up for no, if bring anybody up for nomination to take charge of this, they'll either be a more zealous radical than as Elizabeth Warren is, and the Republican Congress, if they're installed, will not want them, and it will always look like, oh, well, the Republicans don't like whoever we want. See, make the bad guys the Republicans again, and that must be, uh, Elizabeth Warren will stay in the top post, and the whole secret will be safe with the old men. You understand? I, I know it's over your head, and, and it's too complicated to explain, really. It's too complicated for anybody to sit there and listen to it, so uh, you're not paying attention, you don't understand, and, and, and so, yeah, I know, uh, I sound like a nut, right? I sound like a nut. Say it. You just wait. You just wait.